Hey guys, and welcome to the Pokemon Fab Five. I am your host, Molad Swami, and today I'm bringing you guys week number one of the NPA for season number three. I'm really excited for this. I'm taking on Bradio Active, who is the head coach of the Iowa Hawluchas. He has a very scary team. It's built off of rain, and I think the best way to deal with rain is to counter with weather of my own. And that's exactly what we're doing. So I'm going to show you the team real quick. I'll show you the party, I guess. It is Excadrill, Rotom, Heat, Haxorus, Verizian, Mew, and Tyranitar. So we get set to level 50. And we're going to let the battle begin. Um, Brady, like I said, his team is very scary. It has Thunderous. It has Alolan Raichu. Let's see what he brings. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. I'm so relieved not to see a Lolan Raichu. Okay. So it's Pelipper, Keldeo, Thunderous, Registeel, Ludi, and Ribombi. Okay, so first and foremost, this team is really interesting. He has Nihilego, left it on the bench. Also left off Delphox, Alolan Raichu. Um, there were a few others that I couldn't, that I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, I know that Rabombi is really fast, but I believe at plus one I outspeed it, which is why we built it. Uh, he also left off Golurk and Bruxish. Okay, so there is that. Um, based on his team composition, I have a feeling Registeel is going to lead, so I think it's pretty safe to go with Rotom, especially without anything else. I mean, Keldeo is a bit of a threat, but I think Rotom's pretty good. It has Pivot, and I'm not going to talk too much about the team before we get started. Um, I'll just show you its stats. We're, we are running leftovers on it. Uh, Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Overheat, and Thunder Wave. Not Will-O-Wisp because he is a primarily special attacking team. We're pretty much prepared for everything. Um, the Alolan Raichu scared me the most coming in because of the fact that it does get Surf and it gets Psychic Stab and it gets Electric Stab, which meant that uh, Rotom couldn't deal with it all that well and my bulky... Other types really could struggle with it. Verizian would have been a counter, but that psychic typing really messes me up. So I'm excited for this. This is my first battle as part of the NPA, and he's going to lead with Nigel the Pelipper. Nice. Um, I'm going to lead with your toast, which is the Rotom. And because he does not have any typing that can resist um, electric or is immune to it, I am going to immediately Volt Switch on out of here. Um, I'm afraid this thing could be Choice Scarfed, but I have a feeling it's going to be a bulkier variant. Even if it is Choice Scarfed, we have a ton of special defense into this Rotom. Uh, we are 236 Calm Nature. 236 uh, EVs and Calm Nature. So we should be able to withstand anything that he has for us. But I really like this lead because of the fact that he doesn't have anything. It could have dealt with Reggie Steel. It obviously deals with this. And depending on what he goes for, um, if he can even survive a Volt Switch, which I doubt he can, that gives us priority pivot. And if he goes into Ludi, we can go right into our uh, Tyranitar if we want. Or we could even go into, say, Verizian and threaten it immediately right off the bat. So this is a pretty good start for us. We'll see what Brady wants to do. But your Toast is one of my absolute favorites. Rotom Heat is the clutch Pokemon on this team because it is a fire type that is immune to ground type attacks. It's also why we have Weezing, who did not come with us. Um, the other mods that did not come with us are Scyther, Slowking, uh, Shenotic, and one more. He's going to go into Baymax, which I'm assuming is the Reggie Steel. Okay, I mean, that's fine. That is so fine because we are about to pop that air balloon real quick. And that is fantastic. That did some good damage. And we can actually go right into... We'll see. Um, do I want to go into Iranator? Probably not. I think Excadrill is a huge threat right here. But we could start setting up on him. Um, nothing on his team really wants to deal with a Haxorus that's setting up. 
So, let me see. How much time do I have? I have enough time. Okay, so Haxorus. Uh, it's 201. So we don't have full attack investment, and that, there's a reason for that. I'm not going to get into it right now. Um, versus Reggie Steel. Let's say it's max defense. EQ does a good amount, plus one, no life orb. Not enough. Eh, not worth it. Let's go into Excadrill right here and scare him out. Actually, we can go into T-Tar. Um, T-Tar or this. Actually, we can start setting up on him. I don't mind if he goes for some Stealth Rocks. I'm going to go into Verizian. And the reason I'm going into Verizian right here is because of the simple fact that I can Swords Dance and I can lay some wood into him. We'll see what he wants to go for here. But Baymax took a decent amount. Um, I didn't recognize any leftovers on it. So that kind of leads me to believe that it could be a Chesto set, could be a Citrus set. I doubt it's going to be Life Orb, but he can't really touch... T-Mobile at all, and we do have Heal Bell on our Mew, so if things do get into a bit uh, foggy situation, we can deal with that pretty easily. I'm um, going for the Sword Stance here. If he wants to go for Stealth Rocks, that's fine. The only thing that can't take it is the Rotom. Everything else resists it, except for Mew and maybe Haxorus, but I mean, that's fine. You know, it's he's kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place right now because Verizian does threaten his team. Um, the only thing that can withstand it is probably Rebombi, and at the same time, because of my fighting typing and my incredible special defense, um, he's in for a rough time. We are carrying Stone Edge. That is what our Z-move is. It's Rocky MZ, and it's to deal with the Pelipper. So, um, Light, Leaf Blade does a lot. He really has to make some tough decisions right here because, well, I wouldn't particularly say that that is the perfect switch in. I guess it's... I'm assuming it's a special defense wall, which actually could be pretty useful for us moving forward. I didn't want to assume anything. I'm going to go for the sword stance. Uh, we'll see what he goes for here. But this thing boosting is an issue, and he goes for the stealth rocks. Okay, that's perfect. That is so perfect right here. Alright, so... Do you bank on the fact that Verizian can do a ton of damage to this thing at plus two? I mean, I, I believe at plus two this thing could get annihilated uh, with the close combat. Should I bank on the close combat this early? I'm going to try it. Um, we'll see if he wants to switch out. Let's see, what could he switch into? Thunderous, Pelipper. I'll play it safe right now. I'm going to go for the close combat. And if he does switch into something that resists this, then if it's the Pelipper, I can catch it off guard and I can take the weather away from him immediately for the rest of this game. Um, Thunderous could be carrying priority Rain Dance, but if it is, then kudos to him. I'm not too worried about it. Um, I'm not going to risk Tyranitar anytime soon, and Excadrill is too important in this matchup. Um, the only thing I have to worry about is Rabombi setting up as a sweeper, and with that in mind... I do think that our Rotom Heat pretty much walls it. So, uh, things it gets, Energy Ball, Moon Blast, Bug Buzz, I believe we resist all three. So, it would have to be like HP Ground. Uh, actually, it would have to be HP Water to deal any damage to us, or HP Rock. <coughs> Which, I doubt he'd be carrying either one of those. So, either way, let's see what Brady wants to go for here. Verizian is in a very nice spot, because it... Okay, he's going to switch out. What's coming in? Seabiscuit. That is... Keldeo! Oh my god! Keldeo takes a chunk! That did so much, and it's leftovers. Okay. Um... So, Keldeo is in... It can do a lot of damage to us, um, because I believe Keldeo is in the same speed tier. It's leftovers, it's 108. 
Um, it hits 176. What are we at? We are at 176. Um, do I expect that? Probably not. But at the same time, how important is Verizian? Not that important. I'm going to go for the safe leaf blade here. Hopefully we outspeed it. Um, if not, Secret Sword can KO us, potentially. Um, we don't have a ton of bulk in this Verizian. Um, actually, we have none whatsoever. It's 252, 252 Jolly. But he's kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place right now. He doesn't have a clean switch into anything. If he goes into Thunderous, that's an issue, but it can't touch us. So, okay, going for the Protect. I guess he was trying to stall out, see what I was going to go for. But Protect on Keldeo seems a bit of a waste. Um, he has Thunderous Eye, which does outspeed us if he is max speed. So, I'm more than okay going for another Leaf Blade. Um, there's no reason not to. Might as well just go for it. Stab has a high crit ratio. We're at plus two. And he's kind of playing with fire. We have him on the ropes, which I think is a really good starting point for us. Uh, I wanted this team to be pretty hyper-offensive because he didn't have a lot of bulk to it. And I wanted to basically say, okay, you don't have a clean switch into anything. And if he does go into Pelipper here, which would be a really terrible idea, um, the only two things I could see him going into would be Rabombi or into Thunderous because of the fact that they both resist. I guess Registeel, but it threatens that um, the odds of me carrying Stone Edge are high, so he could be afraid. He might be sacking off the Keldeo right here, which if he does, then the biggest threat to our team is done. Because after that, nothing else can really deal with, uh, with most of the team. That fighting typing is probably the biggest threat to us. So I'm very happy that uh, he switched out. If I had gone for the Leaf Blade, we would have just annihilated. Okay, there goes Keldeo. That is the most important member of his team down. And now I feel really, really confident. And the rain stops. Huge, 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 huge. If he switches back into Pelipper, it's done. What's coming in? So, Verizian. Keldeo, Leaf Blade. Beautiful. I'm not going to overpredict Brady. I want to make him make a decision. Right now, Verizian just took care of the biggest threat to his team. And honestly, the only thing that can deal with it is Ludi. And that's only if I get another drop. Because as of right now, Verizian is ridiculously strong. Ludicolo, Rain Dance Sweeper. Ice Beam does 56 to 67%. Uh, with the minus one, he has a chance to KO if he's max uh, special attack modest life orb. It's a slim chance. It's a 6% chance. So we actually have four investment here. So actually, <laughs> wow, go figure that four investment actually makes it where he can't KO us ever one hit, which is fantastic. I, we did take, a, we did not take Stealth Rock's damage, which is really excellent. And here comes Nigel the Pelipper. Okay, that thing's toast. Um, we'll see if he's ready for it. I don't know what this, if this is, if this outspeeds us, it's obviously Scarf. But I am going to go for the Continental Crush, the Rocky MZ. And we'll see what uh, what he goes for here. Up, oh, that's game. That is game. That thing's done. Let's see this beautiful animation. Goodbye, Pelipper. It was fun while it lasted. Oh, it was Charty too. Oh, man. Oh, man. That is so sweet. Oh, my goodness. 
Oh my goodness, that is a Z-Move Continental Crush, even with the Charty. Let's see how well he could have survived that if he was Max. Uh, Charty Berry. Oh, he's not Max Defense. Oh, poor thing. Wow, that's crazy. The Rockium Z. Oh, whoops. Continental Crush. 180. Yeah. Even with the Charty, he would have had to have some mean defenses or HP. I don't know the situation right there, but man, that was, that was worth it. Taking out the Pelipper means that he has lost basically weather control for the rest of this game. And that gives us an opportunity to be even more aggressive if we want, or to play a little bit passively. Uh, in comes Gil, which is the Ludi Colo. Okay. So how does Ludi take a Leaf Blade? Ludi takes a Leaf Blade from this distance. Oh, it's, it's toast. Even if it's... Oh, I can just go for a close combat. I'm not even going to worry about it. Ice Beam, unless it freezes, we survive this every time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And that's that's done. Down goes Gil, the Ludicolo. Yeah. Verizian putting in the work. Um, I'd expect Rabombi in here. Tinkerbell, yeah. Um, I don't want to let this thing set up. I'm going for a Stone Edge. Moonblast, easy. Okay. So from here, I think the safe switch is into your toast because I can go for a thunder wave and cripple this thing. Um, I didn't see an item, so it could be specs, but I'm gonna go for the thunder wave here. And if it's, unless he switches into Thunderous, which he could, but Thunderous really doesn't touch Rotom. Um, Rabombi doesn't really have a way to hit Rotom, which is why I'm really happy that it's on the team for this matchup specifically. Um, neither does Thunderous really, unless that's maybe knockoff. And even Reggie Steel struggles with it, so... I think that's probably the safest... The safest play. If I can Thunder Wave Rabombi, then the game's over, basically. Um, not, not necessarily, because it could still quiver up and surpass us in speed, but then I can switch right into Tyranitar and Rock Slide it. Um, it hits a max of, let's see, Jolly, 252, 193. Tyranitar hits 186 with this set, and Verizia, uh, Excadrill will easily surpass it. So, Rabombi probably is speed creeping. I don't know if it would actually outspeed my Tyranitar, which could be really useful. But the fact that we're Scarfed means that we have to be a little bit careful. Um, because there is still the Registeel hanging around. So, I don't want to give him an opportunity to really breathe and get back into this game. So he's going to go for the Moonblast, it's probably Specs. And that could... Oh, that did nothing. Nothing at all. He does get the special attack drop. The Thunder Wave does connect, and I feel really good right now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So this thing doesn't have much special defense. Um, the rain is still going on. I think I'm going to Vault Switch out into... What can take a... Uh, what 
Do I want to go into Mew? Probably not. Mew has really no value right now. Yeah. I'll just go for a very safe Thunderbolt because it can't touch us. Can't move. Uh, does that mean it's faster? If its speed was halved, is that possible? Oh, okay, so well, now I know that for sure a an overheat will kill it. How is it possibly faster? Oh, it's Choice Scarfed. Oh. Oh, that's a good way to stop a sweep. Interesting. Two special attack drops. The overheat will connect. Yeah, that should KO it. Yeah. All right, so basically what's gonna happen is I'm gonna Volt Switch next turn into Tyranitar. Um, I'll let Tyranitar do whatever it needs to do, and then I'm going to switch into Excadrill, and Excadrill will finish the game up. Because he's down to his final two, Thunderous and Registeel, and he really doesn't have a good way to deal with us. So, um, that's, that's solid. That's solid for sure. This has been an excellent first battle as part of the NPA. I'm really uh, fortunate to be a part of this. Um, I love battling and love the team building aspect. Shout out to my assistant coach, Mr. Snowbro. He put together an awesome game plan for us. I'm going to, like I said, Volt Switch out because this thing should outspeed us. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see like a bulk up right now. Just trying to keep something alive. The fact that he held this in the back so long probably means that it's his sweeper. I still don't understand the play earlier bringing in Keldeo, though. That is knock off yet. That's not going to do too much. Knocked off my leftovers. Volt switch out. Not going to do anything to it. Uh, Thunderous probably is going to outspeed Reptar, which is up to 186. Thunderous gets up to 179. Oh, okay, never mind. Um... The Sandstream does come up. Instead of giving him any opportunity to really survive, I think I'm going to go for a Crunch here. Um, the Rock Slide's pretty predictable. Just start crunching away. We will add speed. I could have got, gotten... I could have been really daring and gone for a superpower, but um, I, I don't want to give him too much room to come back yet. He stays in. Crunch comes out. It's not going to KO, but it is a Z-move. Ooh! Z-fighting, all-out pummeling, coming into Tyranitar, which is more than okay with me because it was really to sack off Tyranitar and make sure this thing couldn't touch me too much. Um... Very nice. Titar, there's no way he's surviving that. I don't care. Um, what fighting type moves? Probably Focus Blast on that. But with that, we can just switch into our Excadrill and it can finish this game off in pretty decisive fashion. Um, Pointed Stones, we'll dig into it, but the combination of its just ridiculous uh, attack stat Plus the fact that I'm, not, I'm gonna go for the safe iron head, not even gonna risk the misc. It's insane attack stat, plus it's sand rush, so it's up to 270 speed. Um, Thunderous cannot survive this whatsoever. Down it goes. It is life orb, that thing doesn't stand a chance. And last but not least is Reggie Steel which two Earthquakes will take it out. Oh, 
This was a really fun battle. Um, this is a good test to see how much damage Ready Steel is actually going to take from this earthquake. Um, if it has max defense versus Excadrill, it should take it decently. It should do 72 to 87 percent if it's max defense, max HP. If it's bold, then it should do a little bit less. So we'll see how much it does. This, I, like I said, I think this is a special defense wall, not defense. Yeah, that thing's done. Okay, so that is the first battle of the MPA for season number three. Good game, Brady. I had a lot of fun. I know you kind of were put into a pickle with the team uh, concept at the start, but I think you put together a pretty good battle. Um, good luck to you the rest of the season, my man. You have a very scary team. I just think we match up really well with you. And, you know, sometimes that's the luck of the draw. That's just kind of the way the team was built. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Moonlight Swami, and the Colorado Rapidash said it 1-0. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!